Hello and welcome. You're watching uh, FII. I'm Sonal Merotra Kapoor. Now, 2020 was a hard year for students. Those in key board years had to fight a long court battle to finally get their exams cancelled. Some were not happy with that as well. But the worst hit, perhaps, were those who were actually planning to get into colleges in that year, planning to study abroad as well. They were all left in a limbo. Now, come 2021, we seem to be getting some clarity, streamlining on exams, Governments taking note of students traveling abroad, they got their vaccines quickly prioritized as well. So they were all set to finally get their life back on track. But then comes a new problem, sudden flight cancellation. Several students wrote to FII saying that they started receiving texts and emails that their flights had either been cancelled or rescheduled. Some saying that they didn't receive any communication at all, but they had to check and recheck to understand that their flights, for which they paid some hefty amounts, were suddenly not operating. Which are these flights? Is it all only to those who are travelling to the US? Is it thanks to the new travel advisory that has come in? And why is the government not being able to, in fact not just the government, even these airlines, not being able to communicate this properly to the students? who are waiting very, very anxiously, some even in these COVID times, just days before their travel, rushing to the centres, trying to understand how to go on with their lives. That will be our focus on FIA today and we'll be joined by some of those students as well, who will be telling us their plight into what exactly has unfolded in the past couple of days. We'll be going across to them and we'll have some experts as well on the panel. But first up, Let's get to our explainer and tell you some basics on how exactly things are going. Now, what are the current travel restrictions, especially if you're traveling to the States? Now, the scheduled international flights remain suspended as of now. All international travel is subject to bilateral air bubble arrangements, which are dynamically changing, remember, because of the way virus is really behaving and how numbers are really uh, having an impact on those decisions as well. Air bubble arrangements, restrictive in nature as well, and only non-stop flights permitted in certain cases. Most non-immigrants are restricted from traveling from India to US, but students exempted. That was the understanding so far, but that also seeing an impact and a major hit. So if you are a student and your flight has been cancelled, what should you do? And what happens in a case like that? What's the legal route over here? Let's tell you that. Well, first up, protection offered in case of cancellations. That's what the government has guaranteed. Rescheduling of flights as well should be guaranteed by your airline. And if they are not responding, uh, the DGCA, which is sort of uh, the body which is looking into all these complaints with airlines, etc., should give out uh, a detailed guideline. In fact, if you go to the website, they already have rules and regulations based on cancelling, on rescheduling, and all airlines must be complying by those rules. If you're not, then they are in violation. Remember that. Also, flights from US to India and back, how exactly are they stacked up? Well, at the moment, or this is subject to change, remember, but I'm telling you what the norm is at this time. 14 non-stop flights from USA to India and back operate. Nine of them from Air India, four operate from United Airlines, one operate from Delta Airlines as well, but they use in, you know, France and other sort of airlines to actually do this entire uh, change and transportation. But also, uh, then let's look at the possible reasons behind this change in schedule. Now, we haven't been able to get a word from these airlines. No statements uh, quite worryingly have come out from them. And this is something that impacts so many lives. And remember, so many students looking to travel abroad. But what are the possible reasons? We've got some for you. Not enough demand to sustain daily flights. That's number one that we're picking up from our sources. Competition from United Airlines on the New York and San Francisco routes. That's another reason. Objections from US governments over uh, India. Air India schedules as well. That's another reason. And US generally is throwing down flights from India due to COVID-19 fears and constant update that's happening. That's another reason why these delays, rescheduling and almost untimely cancellations also taking place. 
but as of this moment can you travel to us if you need to join university on a m1 visa that's the concern over here remember these were people who were exempt from the other travel restriction now students can travel if they start uh, if the start of their program is on 1st of august 2021 or later that was the understanding and applicants who qualified as uh, F1, M1 visa will uh, be considered for uh, national interest exemptions as well. That was again the norm that was set out. And if you have a valid F1, M1 uh, visa, you may spend about 14 days in the third country before arriving to US. That was an option and it was approved. And you did fall in the national interest exemption category and valid for multiple entries into US for about 12 months over there. So all these things were listed out. Yet you see massive confusion among students not knowing which way to go people running from pillar to post to try and understand whether or not they will manage to catch their flights whether or not these flights will be functional and get them to their institutes and to their universities in time but what exactly has this entire period of turmoil been like we've got some students for you on the program uh, let's start with vishwas now vishwas bhargav joins us uh, we also have Anusha with us and also Mahima. Vishwas, if I can start out with you, uh, we saw lots of these very, very angry tweets that you had put out. You had tagged the aviation minister, you had tagged governments, you had tagged the prime minister saying, well, give us some clarity. Tell us where are you going, what exactly is your status right now and where exactly are you stuck? Yes, hi. So, uh, I would not really clarif like, uh, classify my... Uh, Twitter, my tweet says angry. It was more like I was anxious and I just asked them for what should I do, mm. but I didn't get any response from them. I, I, I tried to keep my tone as normal as possible. Uh, but yeah, if you keep on trying for three days and you, you don't get any response, I guess one can see some anger in it. So my flight was delayed from 8th of August to 30th of August. That's a delay of 22 days without any notice hmm. and so just uh, I got a and, and as soon as I got that I started calling them uh, I was getting connected to uh, agents hmm. which don't have any power they can say oh actually we can't do anything we can connect you to the ticketing team most hmm. likely they will give you a flight on 5th of us hmm. so I kept on calling the ticketing team and the call never uh, went through so they said, oh, let us select to the ticketing team. And then I was on wait for 50 minutes, 40 minutes. And I've called them around 15 times in the matter of three days. And I've given like lots of false promises that, oh, hmm. it's done. We will just send you an email in like half an hour. Hmm. Why don't you be, uh, wait for the night? You'll get it tomorrow. Hmm. Nothing has done. And like, I have tried everything I could. And still there is like, I, I don't know what to do actually now. Right. Uh, so, 25 days of delay on that flight, still no clarity on whether or not that's going to happen, just roughly around yeah. that much time and you still don't, yeah. haven't heard back from the airline, you haven't heard back from any other, have you managed to communicate this to your university, what are they saying about it? No, no, I was hoping to, like, uh, I haven't uh, discussed this with the university, I don't hmm. think they can do anything about it. Hmm -hmm. Right? Okay. So, we, do you have an answer for students uh, like uh, him right now who are so stuck with not understanding which way to really go over here? Yes, sir, sir, uh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Let Purvi respond. I'll come back to you, Vishwas. Hmm. Definitely, definitely, the students should take proactive steps. They should connect with their student officer at the university and inform them if they're not going to be there by the time the program If they don't do that, of being taken off the program or other problems. If hmm. they actually request a deferment or get permission, to it, so they must take proactive steps. Hmm. And the DSO 
touch with these students. Purvi, I'm having some trouble with the audio line. Let me fix that. But what I picked up mostly from you was that uh, students can actually connect with the university and try and get a communication going from them. And there should be some assistance available at that end as well. Uh, so at least till the time India does not respond, these headlines definitely do not respond to these questions as well. Let me go to Anusha in the meanwhile. Anusha, what's been your story? Uh, hi, uh, so I booked my flight uh, in May, way in advance, because keeping in mind that the flight rates and tickets become really pricey closer to the date. And I booked a flight for August 20th, and I got a mail on 24th of July just saying that your flight has been impacted with no further details on what the impact really is. Hmm. I was told that I need to call up the airline for any further details. Hmm. After being on hold and on call for almost an hour, I found out that my flight has been cancelled uh, mm. due to operational reasons and it has been rescheduled to September 22nd, mm. which is more than a month later. Mm. And my course starts on September 1st. I did speak to the university, so there are more people uh, flying to the same university. So we did uh, send a mail across to the international office and right. they told us that maybe if we are not able to fly in uh, we might have to defer our admissions or uh, they will let us know closer to the date whether remote classes will be possible but right. mostly the option for us is to not go this semester and try again next semester hmm. and i am one of the students who waited for a year because hmm. of covid so i really cannot wait for half a semester more Wow, th that sounds, uh, you know, really, really bad right now on having to delay altogether because of no clarity coming from your end. But yeah. uh, tell me uh, this, Anusha, uh, did they give you an option uh, to book another flight right now, airline communication? Uh, I hear uh, yes. some of the people who actually connected with us on Twitter said that they actually had to physically go to the offices of Air India and even then nothing came out of it. Yeah, so uh, the option they gave is that we could reschedule your flight, uh, but there was a very long hold and a very long wait line for rescheduling and all the flights that were available were getting filled up very fast and a lot of people went down mm -hmm. to the airline office to reschedule them, but uh, instead of taking that chance because I needed to fly this uh, in August, I booked another flight at a very heavy cost mm -hmm. and I was... Uh, I still went down to the airline to check if the new flight I booked is at least confirmed and they told me two days before the flight, please check ma'am because we cannot assure that this flight is not oh going Lord. to get cancelled. Let me go to Vinamra. Vinamra, there are so many like Anusha out there who uh, at least have the capacity to book another flight but even that is not clear. They are blocking in money, time, putting their careers on hold. Uh, is there any way to actually get some clarity on this? But Sonal, uh, to be honest with you, I, I'd just like to put uh, things in perspective here mm. for all these students who are trying to get to the U.S. Now, uh, the Director General of Civil Aviation has, in fact, detailed rules and regulations regarding can cancellations yeah. and rescheduling flights. Mm. So, you know, if a flight is cancelled two weeks, at least two weeks before the departure, they are supposed to either provide the airline in question, irrespective if it's Air India or any other air, international airline operating out of India, they are required to either provide a full refund or re provide alternate uh, uh, travel arrangements for hmm. the passengers. Hmm. So at the outset, uh, prima facie, looking at the concerns and having uh, having uh, you know these uh, students on the show, uh, it seems to be an issue of accountability at Air India if that is the only airline that is in question. Because, you know, if you cancel uh, an airline ticket for no fault of a passenger, I mean, and this, and again, to put it in perspective, why this may have happened, I'm not being the devil's advocate. I'm not, I'm just trying to put, give you an airline yeah, that, perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh, there might just be a lack of demand of uh, an airline. Uh, let's say, for example, if Air India is operating daily from Delhi to New York hmm. and there just isn't enough demand to in, in the current climate to be able to recover even operating costs like, hmm. you know, uh, uh, just crew salaries and fuel. So they might just be forced to cancel the flight. But that, like I said, in no way means that passengers would have should have to run from pillar to post call the call center and I mean given COVID. Whatever the concern here, the problem is that there is no communication. 
if you are cancelling the flight, you have to let the passenger know these are students who've put in, like I said, so much at risk to actually get there. And in this COVID scenario, they are running from one office to the other. That's certainly not fair to them at all. Sumit, uh, but uh, can uh, the government step in, do you think, in this case? Or what is the first port of call when you have a situation like this for these students? Yeah. Hi. So, uh, my first... First thing I would like to tell students is that uh, uh, please inform your universities about this. I'm going to talk purely from students' perspective mm. what they should be doing. Right. Uh, they are in touch with the International Students uh, Services Department in their university. Inform them. Keep them in loop with whatever is happening. Uh, they will be the ones who will give you the best uh, result out of what happens in case of delay. Would you be able to attend the class, not attend the class? Uh, some of them might offer uh, one or two courses online for you to start and then join the campus later. Uh, mm. But keep them informed so that uh, so that everything is very clear. You it, there should be no surprises because university is expecting you over there. Sure. So uh, so first make sure that that is happening. Second mm. thing, prepare for uncertainty. Uh, last one that has uh, us one thing is that uh, there is a lot of uncertainty which is there. So prepare for it. Keep some uh, keep some buffer for yourself. You are allowed to enter the US 30 days prior to your start of course, plan it that way and make sure that you have enough offer. Mm -hmm. uh, as again, you know, uh, these flight cancellations might happen at last moment. So be, be mentally prepared for it and be prepared Right. Uh, I understand that. I have last few seconds on the program, so I quickly want to run across to uh, Purvi also at this point. We lost your line earlier, Purvi, but you were saying, so first thing, so just to sum it up, inform your university, let them know about the delay. Second, ensure that you have all the communication with the airlines with you. And third, what, do, what does the student really do in case your money is actually stuck? Stuck. Um, so that, of course, you, you are stuck, but if there is any way at all you can get on another flight and get to America, this is the time you should spend that extra savings you would have kept aside. Our flights that are going to countries that are not subject to the travel ban are doing better. So flights to Qatar, parts of um, uh, you know the South Africa, U UAE, etc., are doing much better. So if you can fly to those countries, your flight is unlikely to be cancelled. United flights are also not being cancelled as frequently, but British Airways is being cancelled frequently because they're not able to fill up the planes to bring back people from America to UK because even they are subject to the travel ban. So this is the time to use your nest egg and fly on another flight if possible. But get there because all the money that you've already invested in this process is at stake. Um, and get a credit from your airline because then you can use that airline credit for your later flight. As a student, you'll be coming to India right. every time. Right. Right. Lots of good tips over there. We really hope this has been helpful for the students who are stuck and to those who joined our program as well. Thank you all so much for joining us. So with that, we're going to quickly slip into a break. Uh, our special campaign, Vaccinate India, is coming up next. Thank you.